Click. Click. Hello everyone, this is Takia from BigHeadTalker.com and I'm down here again at Yan Kath Carpets in Railtown District in, in the Redtown District on Railway Street. And I'm here uh, through the generosity, of course, again of uh, Jenny and the team to shoot a few YouTube videos. And today I thought what I would start off doing is uh, kind of what's in my bag, but as well, how does one, as a street photographer, how do I dress... Um, what shoes do I wear when I'm out uh, taking a shot? So I did not set any of this up. This is exactly uh, how uh, I will be out shooting as well as I just asked Jenny like 20 minutes ago if I can shoot in here. So that kind of shows you uh, my style of street photography. So the first thing is building relationships with the businesses and the people that you sh in the neighborhoods that you shoot around. So I don't creepy crawl through neighborhoods. I tr really try my best to uh, get to know the people in the community, including the businesses. And hence, uh, Jenny is uh, very generous with her time and allow me to use her space here. So that's number one. I'm in this beautiful space because of my street photography. Uh, number two, I always have a camera around my neck that I'm reviewing, uh, usually the main camera. So I have Again, the Leica Q for the third time. So thank you so much, uh, Leica North America and Eric Corwin of Leica Canada. I have this as well as the flash. I'll be testing this as well. Um, clothing wise, uh, as you can see, I, I kind of blend in other than this orange carpet here. I, I, I try to dress kind of in a way, uh, you know, very plain looking. Even my socks are pretty plain. My t-shirt's plain. I really want to blend in and not look too, uh, Fantasma. I know some street photographers, they just dress to the tees, and that's great. They look fantastic. They look sharp. I just try to look like a, an Asian tourist and try not to stand out too much. So, And then having just a good pair of sneakers, because I used to wear slicker, cool shoes. Many of you who follow me on Instagram knows I love shoes, but you know what? I'm not wearing my fancy flu vogs or dress shoes when I'm out on the street. Something really uh, that's cushiony and allows me to walk all day and not have sore feet. So these uh, Adidas ZX 750s are great. I'm not being uh, sponsored by Adidas. I just love these shoes, but I am a Converse guy. And in here, uh, basically is what I carry around uh, for my street photography. A side bag is great because it allows you a quick and easy access to what you're shooting without having to take a backpack off. And when you're in a tight city, uh, for instance, a city like New York or uh, Hong Kong, Tokyo, backpacks as a street photographer, quickly trying to grab stuff, it's inconvenient. It's not as comfortable having a bag on your side, but as a street photographer and as a reviewer, it's great. And uh, this uh, is a bag I picked up in Japan. It's not even meant to be a camera bag, but I love these shoulder bags. This has rare earth magnets that sort of close down in the front and then a zippered middle here, which I like because then it can keep everything protected. So let's kind of do a little bit of a what's in my bag. So this is I am reviewing a shooting today, so this is what I uh, decided to carry as a reviewer. So let's start off with non-camera stuff, water. Uh, water's expensive to buy, coffee's expensive to buy, it's a hot day, so I'm starting off shooting indoors, but having a nice water bottle is great. Um, in terms of uh, protection, camera protection, so you see that everything is in here fitting nice, but uh, I have these inserts, and this is off of a Temba, camera bag that I have. And in here, uh, this is not a dirty sock, but I use uh, socks sometimes as a way of holding different cameras and equipment. So you can sort of see it's tightly packed in here. So the first camera I'm gonna show you that I have on me that I'm reviewing long-term is the Fujifilm uh, XQ2. So I've had a few people asking about it. Uh, I am doing a long-term review on this. Love this camera so far. So this I keep on me all the time. And often when I'm shooting, this will actually be my back pocket because I want quick access because I'm trying to use this as a daily shooter, almost like a replacement to shooting with a smartphone. So this is a great little camera. Um, X-T10 with the Pancake, which I am doing a comparison review with another camera that I have in here. So I have the X-T10. So I'm gonna maybe lay all these out here. Again, this is a clean sock. Ah, fresh. Okay, and everyone knows I like to shoot with my Ricoh GR limited edition. So this is my main personal camera that I have. So I have this on me all the time. Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna show you something until I show you this. This is um, Monster Beats. And I showed this in when I was in Hong Kong. Uh, 
It's meant for headphones, but I find it actually holds cameras pretty good. So in here I have the, ta-da, the uh, X-T10. So this, I've had this since Hong Kong. So I've had this for a very long time. This has ended up becoming a long-term test camera for me, but, uh, and this is on a, a sailor strap, which I love. So um, this camera here, um, people know that I've um, been doing a, two, a comparison of these two cameras. So that's why I have these two on me. So that's in my bag. And with that, I'm going to be doing a couple of portrait tests. So I have the 50 mil, uh, the T teleconverter lens, TCL-X100 converter for the X100T to get a 50 mil equivalent. So I have that in here. And, oh, oh sorry, Fujifilm Canada, almost dropped it. So I'll put that here. I have a battery charger. This can charge cameras. It can charge an iPad. It can charge my smartphone, which I use this mostly for. So just a portable charger, uh, a PNY brand, but you can get any brand that you want. So I always have one of these on me. Uh, a mini tripod. I don't always have uh, uh, someone to shoot the videos with me. So I like this one, Giotos. Q-Pod, but this is really tiny, but it does actually fold up and out. So if I need something quickly, I'd shot a video previously at Yan Kath Carpets back over there, and I basically I use this, and I don't have it on me, but uh, I have an LED light that I would put on top of my Ricoh GR. So I'm actually portable enough that I could shoot my own YouTube videos uh, without having another person with me. So that's pretty much, okay, so this is empty. I keep a lot of these little extra little Daiso dollar store bags because again because this is not meant to be a camera bag uh, you need these things to protect things so in here I have the Leica Q charger because the Q battery dies so fast so uh, I decided to bring the charger with me but you can put a whole bunch of little small things in here and then I typically have something like this notepad um, sometimes I'll bring my iPad with me extra memory cards, my wallet, the pen, business cards, that kind of thing. So I have that slipped in here. And my main notepad, I would say out of all the non-camera related equipment or tools that I have, I would say my notepad is probably my most powerful tool as a reviewer and as a street photographer because I meet many people on the street and um, I give them my business card and I ask if I can take their portrait. And then I I say, hey, you know, would you want me to send you a picture? And I'll, I'll write notes. So if you ever follow me on Instagram, you'll see often I have these little stories on people. And I do so on this uh, notepad. And what something happened funny last night is uh, Hobo Woodworks, they contacted me and said, hey, who was the name of that um, photographer from Scout Magazine that came by to do that shoot? What was his name? What was his email address? And this is actually done in a... Um, order of, of time, you know, so I, I go to the next page, and right? So I kind of figured out about the time of year it was, and I quickly, bang, I found it. This is his name, this is his email address, this is his phone number, and so this is a great tool. And once I'm finished, which I'm almost finished now, I'm just in the last few pages, um, you just file this away as a, like a filing cabinet. And if I ever need more information, I go back to this. So highly effective tool, wet wipes, because you're eating on the run, you eat a hot dog at a hot dog stand, you got dirty fingers, you need wet wipes. So keep wet wipes. And you know what? I'm not going to business cards, uh, pens. Uh, what else do I have here? Lip balm, a change pouch. So, uh, oh, a little tiny, little Leatherman, Leatherman thingy, you know, to, I don't know, you might need one for whatever reason. So that's kind of what's in my bag right now. So you can see it actually there's quite a bit of things I fit in here. And if I had a, a DSLR, you can imagine how few things and multiple lenses, how few things. So I have one camera around me, my neck, two, three, four, five. I have five, I have five cameras on me in this little bag. So I'm going to put everything back slowly as I continue to talk. So, uh, this is literally, this was not pre-planned. I am shooting for other reasons, but, uh, I thought I would show people what one, like in terms of keeping your kit efficient and small. So people ask me like, why do I shoot the Ricoh GR versus the X100? Because people can tell how much I love the X100 or how much I even love the Leica Q. It's because look how small this camera is. 
So imagine me having five other cameras and I have to always lug this or the X100T around. I just can't. So I really need a small camera as my personal everyday camera that I have consistently. So um, that's why, you know, that's why I keep a camera like this. So I'm putting everything back and back in my fresh sock. Put that back and my water bottle. And there's a lot of other really nice, Ona makes some nice bags, Domkey makes nice bags. They all make really nice bags. The only qualm I have with those type of bags is that as a camera nerd, I know right away when someone has a camera, an official camera bag. So I want to be different. And so I want to get a bag that's technically not a camera bag. And you can even see, um, you know, my mama, she lovingly sewed. I use this bag so much that it's starting to rip and tear. But uh, to me, that's uh, like wearing out a pair of sneakers. I find it... Uh, Kind of, I've, I've worn out a couple of Domkey bags. I've used it uh, when I did weddings and I did sports. And so these bags are meant to be used and abused and worn out really like a nice pair of shoes or a nice pair of jeans. So uh, it's time to get a new one soon. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hunt for a new camera bag. But uh, once it's all closed up, here we go. And I have this on my shoulder, this camera. You know, I stand up here. I mean, this is pretty much Big Head Taco on the street. Uh, minus me not wearing my shoes, but uh, very simple setup and I, and I like it. So uh, hopefully you've uh, seen something interesting and if you have any questions, let me know. But uh, this, is, uh, this is my kit and what's in my bag and what I wear. So thank you so much for watching and watch for more videos like this. Uh, don't forget to like as well as subscribe. So we will talk to you soon. Click, click.